Hey guys, so today we're going to have a look at monday.com and we're going to go through a very quick video on how you can set it up and uh, create an account and connect it up with Zapier as well if we get time. So monday.com is a platform that allows you to uh, keep track of projects and to create uh, very customized uh, tracking project dashboards, I guess you could almost call them. Uh, it's basically like um, if you used Asana or some other kind of like to-do list, but taking it a couple of steps forward or further, let's say, where you can customize columns as well. So it's kind of like a spreadsheet tool, kind of like a to-do list uh, where there's a lot of flexibility. It's a little bit like Airtable as well. Um, so if you use any of those platforms, you'll see some sort of similarities. But to put it simply, it's a task management platform and a project management platform. So you can see here some examples of some of their boards. And basically it, it kind of just looks like this, where you can create a task and then you can add in details for that task. And you can add in, uh, you can have commentary, you can discuss with your team regarding that particular task, you know, rather than having all these emails going back and forth or messages or whatever, getting lost, you know, in other platforms, it's centralizing everything. It's a great, it's a great tool and very good for small, medium sized businesses that are growing or, or medium sized, small, medium sized teams uh, in order to keep everything in one place and to have it in a, in a sort of a method that's quite easy for everyone to follow and suited to a regular kind of, let's say regular kind of person, not someone who's too technical necessarily, or someone that has, you know, degree in project management, but just regular folk that are working in your team or in your company. So have a look at the screen here. You can see they've also got the power of different automations that run internally, you know, and with Zapier, we can also tie it into other platforms as well to trigger things. There's heaps of functionality, so we won't go into the detail now, but that, I think that's sort of a very quick overview. So let's try and create an account. So let's get started. I think we can get a free trial. Wow, that's cool. So let's start by signing up for an account. If I can type my, what am I doing? There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna type my name, generate password. Good. Okay, I'm here for work. Business owner. What do I want to do? Let's start with I think I want to do some client projects. Okay, let's choose a few things. Sales pipeline, sure. Team tasks and projects. I mean, there's a lot of great stuff. If I can do that all in one place, that would be really nice. So let's try that. Small company, what's our industry? Let's go internet, continue, great. Cool, so we can also invite teammates and I'll do that later. And it opens up with some information to get started. So complete the profile, set up account done, upload photo, done, I guess. Enable desktop notifications, invite team members, complete profile, install the mobile app. Cool, so we'll do all that later. Let's have a look over here. So we've got, I've got to uh, confirm my email address. Then if we follow the left-hand side of the screen here, we can see the different elements. We have the workspaces, the notification section, the inbox, my week, invite members, search, help, and then my profile information here. So this isn't an in-depth tutorial. It's just how to sort of kick things off. So I'll hopefully do some other videos to go into more detail in certain sections. Let's start with workspaces though for now. And we can see here that we've got a main workspace. And this is sort of the inbox 
which is kind of where you know the different uh, parts get centralized for different updates if people tag you and are communicating with you. We can get notifications on Slack, do that later. So here's a bit of an a bit of an introduction from the CEO. I'm going to skip that. And so then we can add a new workspace. We can browse all workspaces. We can pin, sort, etc. So there's all kinds. Let's have a look at browse. So we've got no workspaces set up yet. Let's add a new workspace. Okay, so for this workspace, I'm going to set up a sales CRM, we'll call it, to track new leads coming in. And I'm going to set up a board under that. Sales CRM board. Let's go leads tracking. Cool. So we'll just call it sales tracking for me. So we can customize the naming of the groups. I'm going to leave them as they are for now. We add an item here. And there's lots of learning to be done. So you can see here, it's very simple sort of setup active leads one and lost. And then you've got this is automatically added and you can customize. We have a column for the contact name, the email, the phone number, who's responsible, what the sales status, next action item, and all these details. This is all, all details that is populated automatically with the example, but you can edit it as well. And up here in the dots, if you hit the dots, you've got all the additional information if you want to go in. So we can hide some columns. We can adjust the look. We can also add columns, new columns here as well, if we want to customize this further. And when you add a column, you get all the, all the options, you know, for what you want to be adding. So if you want to change some of the details, or you want to add more details, you can add it here as well. That's a very uh, quick sort of start into it. Uh, let me know what you think and what questions you have about monday.com and I'll do some more videos and go into a little bit more detail as well coming up. Okay. Thank you so much for, for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.